Hey Leos, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. You guys, I am open for personal readings. If you would like a private session with Sophia Monet Tarot, my email is in the description box below this video. So shoot me an email and we'll get you booked, okay? Alrighty, cash out payments only. I do not accept any other form of payment just to keep things simple. Okay, for Leos, what's going on with you? Welcome back, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Leos, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit for Leos. What's going on? What do you need to hear and know? What do you need to hear and know? Nine of Wands, okay? Queen of Wands. Right away, I'm getting body image. Some of you, I'm, I'm hearing body image. Some of you could be struggling with how you look or you could be feeling self-conscious. We are still in Libra season, okay? That's an air sign season. So sometimes we can overthink whenever you're in an air sign season. So you could be overthinking how you look, your hair, your body, maybe your clothes. You could be overthinking something right now. Mm. With the Nine of Wands and the Queen of Wands, okay? That's the first energy that I'm getting. So some of you, you may not need to be so hard on yourself, okay? Take it easy. Try not to overthink. Yeah, Nine of Swords, I'm telling you. See, we have the Nine of Wands, now the Nine of Swords. Yeah, there could be some stress or worry surrounding you. Could be concerning a cancer for some of you with the chariot. Could be concerning a move as well. You could be overwhelmed by a move. You could be overwhelmed by a cancer when it comes to the chariot. It's, it's all about movement. You could be having car issues or car trouble as well. Something could have happened in the month of September that kind of rocked you. Or made you feel insecure or unstable in some type of way. With the Nine of Wands and the Nine of Swords. Yeah. You are sitting in your energy as the Queen of Wands. So you may be trying to be brave or strong at this time. But it's like privately you could be enduring a lot of pain. Or you could be feeling very defensive when it comes to your emotions. You could be very protective of yourself at this time. Mm. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, let's get into it. What else is coming through for Leos? For Leos, show me that nine of wands for Leos. Seven of wands. A lot of defensive energy is here. Seven of swords. Oh. I think you have your guard up against anything that is false or anything that is deceptive or... For anyone that could be trying to play you, cheat on you, anything like that, it's like I'm, I'm ugh, standing, <laughs> couldn't get it out. I'm standing here with the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands, Seven of Swords. I'm being very protective of myself. Six of Cups. Whoa. Mm. This could be... A very defensive energy against someone that you had a deep connection with. With the Six of Cups. You could also be feeling very aggravated with something that happened in your childhood. Okay? Or adolescent years. You could be feeling angry over something. Wow, Leo. A lot of messages are coming through. Take them as they resonate. What is this energy for Leo? Seven of Wands, Seven of Swords there. Four of Swords is here. Nine of Cups. It's something that you don't want to talk about. Whoa, Three of Swords. Some of you are mad or angry over an illness. You could have gotten a diagnosis. I'm getting that very strongly. Please take that as it resonates. That's not for everyone. I understand. Leos, I'm feeling very strongly. Some of you could have gotten a diagnosis. 
You could be very angry over this. Nine of Swords, this could keep you up at night. You may not be sleeping much. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I just feel very heavy. Heavy energy. Yeah. A doctor could tell you that you need surgery. You may not even want to go into surgery. You may feel like you don't need to. You may feel like you don't have to do this. But you may absolutely have to do it. Mm. I feel like others of you, when it comes to your love life, it's like, nope, I don't want to talk to this person. I'm not dealing with this person. This person has hurt me, Three of Swords. And I'm staying away from this person. Mm. Some of you could be in some type of treatment. Undergoing treatment right now. You may not like that you have to be in treatment, but you're, you're there. I just feel very, again, very defensive energy, very angry energy in this reading. Tell me the Queen of Wands for Leo. The Two of Swords. We have a lot of Swords energy coming out. Nine of Swords, Seven of Swords, Four of Swords, Three of Swords, now the Two of Swords. Some of you could have air in your chart or like I had just mentioned, we are in Libra season and air sign season. And it's a season where people can overthink a lot. Okay, so you may have a lot on your mind, a lot of decisions to make with the energy of the two of swords for Leo's three of wands. Yeah, should I just remain distant? Four of Cups. You're upset about something. It could vary for all of you. This could be a love situation, a family issue, a living issue, living situation. This could be romantic. But I feel like you are upset and you're you're feeling like, should I just walk away from it all? Should I just leave it all? Three of Wands with the Four of Cups. You may not want to be bothered. Ace of Pentacles is here with the Eight of Wands, the Page of Cups. You may not want to hear from someone, even if they have a big offer with the Ace of Pentacles, you may not want to hear from, from them or hear their apology. Four of Wands, Knight of Swords. Yeah, someone could absolutely be coming in, trying to talk to you about having something more with you, a relationship, and I feel like you're just over it. Like, no, I, d I don't want to date anyone or I don't want to be involved with anyone. Show me that Nine of Swords for Leo. Nine of Swords for Leo. The world card is here. Five of Pentacles. Yeah. I don't know, Leo. I feel like you've closed out a cycle. Yeah, see, Five of Pentacles. Now we have the Five of Cups. This is a major change for you. Some of you are going through a change. Yeah, I just feel like this week you could be feeling very sad or angry. And you just want to be left alone after something has ended or you may have gotten some major news that wasn't the best. I'm feeling a lot of you concerning your health. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, show me how is Leo feeling at this time? Your energy, the sun, the five of swords. The Nine of Pentacles. Some of you could be feeling defensive when it comes to another Leo, a fellow Leo for some of you. Mm. I also feel this energy of you just saying, I'm happy independent. I'm happy single. Nine of Pentacles. The Sun, Five of Swords. It's like, you know, moving forward, I, I'm just going to be single and do my thing. Show me Leo's energy 
at this time. Page of Swords. Again, very defensive. Page of Wands. Judgment. Yeah. You're very skeptical of giving anyone... I see this Page of Swords as being skeptical. Of giving anyone a second chance. Mm. Two of Wands. With the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, I just see you thinking before you talk to someone romantically or get involved with anyone romantically. You're you're thinking. There are pentacles. Yeah, like should I invest in this? Some of you are thinking before you make a big move. It's like, is it going to be worth it for me to leave this place that I'm at to move to a new place? You may be trying to save up money right now. Yeah, what else for Leos this week? What else do, do they need to hear or know this week? The Empress is here. The Ace of Swords. Some truth could come out about a authoritative figure, figure in your life. Someone may need to communicate something big. This could be a Libra or a Taurus that needs to communicate with you. Whoa, Emperor. Emperor and Empress. Aries energy is here. Could be dealing with an Aries for some of you. What's that Ace of Swords between the Emperor and Empress? Ten of Cups is here. With Justice. Okay. And the Knight of Wands. Some of you may secretly get married. Or I don't even want to say secretly. You may get married very fast. This could be like a courthouse wedding for some of you. The star. Could be to an Aquarius for some of you. Eight of Pentacles. Some of you could be working very hard on becoming something or building a name for yourself. Changing your reputation is what I'm getting. The two of Pentacles is here with the eight of Pentacles. Yeah. Let me say this, Leo. If you're married, someone could really have their eye on you outside of your marriage. Could be a Libra. A Libra or an Aquarius could be very interested in getting to know you more. Yeah, creating a third party. Three of Cups. Yeah, Leo. So that, that's for the Leos that are married. Emperor and Empress is my husband and wife card. If you are in a solid, committed relationship, if you're married, there could be a threat to the marriage with this nine, Knight of Wands energy. Someone could have their eye on you and wanting to be with you. Mmm. I also want to say there could be someone who is married who is interested in you if you're the single one. Someone is married and definitely interested in keeping up a third party. I don't see this person divorcing. I see them trying to make you the third party. But they're not divorcing that other person. Anything else for Leos at this time? The devil energy. Capricorn. Page of Pentacles, you may have a Capricorn reaching out to you. Temperance, Sagittarius energy is here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this person may want to reach out. It could be someone who has uh, not the best intentions. Queen of Pentacles, the Tower, kaboom. The Chariot, Cancerian Energy, Scorpio is here as well. We have a lot of major arcanas coming out here. So Leos, if you're single, be careful of someone reaching out to you who's married or someone who has some issues or even addictions. They could bring a lot of chaos into your life with the energy of the Tower. You may need to move on. Chariot, moving on from a person... 
that's coming in that has a lot of addictions or problems or issues. Be careful of someone attaching themselves to your life who is not good for you, who could be a very toxic energy for you. Whoa. King and Queen of Pentacles here. Lovers, the moon, the death card. There could be a secret surrounding a Scorpio with the moon, the death card. Mm. I feel like someone could be trying to pursue you. If you are in a relationship, maybe you're not married, but if you are in a relationship, someone could be trying to pursue you. Could be trying to have an affair with you, with the lovers and the king of pentacles. Okay, someone could be trying to get you to cheat with them. Whoa, a lot of messages coming through, <laughs> Leos. So like I said, take them as they resonate. For Leos, advice or insight for Leos. What's going on? We have confession. Yeah, someone definitely has a confession. Moving, I said that quite a few times in your reading. Some of you could be moving or maybe you're wanting to move, needing to move. You may need to tell someone this. You may want to move on. Yeah, it's time to manifest. Manifest what? No. Yeah. Telling someone no. Mm. If someone is telling you, hey, I'm going to move out. You know, I'm not going to be with that person. I'm moving on from that person. You know, I feel like this is the person that you need to say no to. Because someone, like I was picking up, someone is not getting a divorce. Like maybe you thought they were. Mm. Someone may still be attached or vice versa, Leo. You could want to be with someone, but you know, you're not getting a divorce or you're not breaking up with that person. You're just wanting to make a new person a third party. But the characters where they go, y'all. Cycles. You could be in a karmic cycle with someone in a karmic loop. Commitment. Narcissist is here and we have divorce. Yeah. Take caution because someone is dealing with a narcissist. Someone is in a karmic cycle and they're committed to a narcissist. Someone needs to divorce or break up. But in the reading, I am not seeing that this person is doing that. Someone is not taking the steps to get a divorce. They're staying in this commitment to this narcissistic person. Now you could feel like they are being narcissistic in the commitment. So yeah, someone, just be cautious of someone who is, they could be telling you that they're getting a divorce, but they're not, okay? Okay. Let me come to this deck. Any advice or insight for Leo? Delight. It says, count your blessings and enjoy life. Take pleasure in simple things. It says, always expect the best. So have you been expecting less than the best? Have you just been accepting any old thing? Shoot for the highest. Leos, y'all have big hearts and sometimes you can be a sucker for a sad story. And sometimes you find people who want to, you know, cling on to you because your personality is so big and bright and bubbly and you're the life of the party. You are a delight to be around. I do want to say that. But you need to also have strong boundaries against anyone that comes in to use you or comes in to suck up the light that is around you. So be careful of those energy vampires that just want to be in your life to control you and tell you what to do, all that kind of stuff. Lie to you, tell you they're getting a divorce and they're not. Be careful of those energies or someone toxic coming into your life to drain you of your resources. Okay. 
Alrighty, Leos, that is your energy. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I do look forward to hearing from you. Take care. Bye.